what I'm on about! That's what I'm on about! Hello boys and girls, so it's finished Arsenal nil, Man City 1 and this is my reaction to the game and um, don't look at that scoreline and think that this was a close contest in any way, shape or form. I'm actually embarrassed by that performance. It was shambolic to be quite honest with you. I'm not proud of it. I'm not looking at it like, oh, we only limited Man City to one goal. Let's all have a party about it. Absolutely feeble. Pathetic. We should have been about 5-0 down in the opening 20 minutes. Once again, we start the game slow. Raheem Sterling, who's probably the most smallest player on the pitch, out jumps our defence within the opening two minutes. And let's also remember that he had a chance a minute before that. It should have been 3-0 within the opening five minutes. They absolutely steamrolled us. We were shambolic. That goal, just watch it. Go and watch Rob Holding. The positional awareness or lack of positional awareness as to what was around him. Then on top of that, you look at the role that Hector Bellerin had to play. There will be people that go, oh, it's an agenda against Hector. Za, la, la, la. It's not an agenda. If you understand football, you'll understand what his job was. If Rob Holding is in front of him, the ball's being crossed from that direction. As the last man of the four, it's Hector's job to let people know in front of him if anybody's making a run from behind. As the one that can see the whole picture. Right shoulder, Rob. Left shoulder. Simple, basic communication. Raheem Sterling literally goes behind him pulls off his right shoulder and has a free header. No communication in any way, shape or form. Both as culpable for that goal. I felt sorry for Pepe in the game because he had to play on that right hand side with Hector behind him. Summed up Hector's performance in that first half. He had a simple two yard pass and he kicks it out for a throw in. Really? Do you really think that this is an agenda? No, it's not an agenda. I just want a new right back for Arsenal. I don't hate the guy. I don't wish any ill harm on the guy. I just don't think he's good enough for Arsenal Football Club. And I would like to see somebody that is able to do the job that's required of them. We've come from a club that's been blessed with some of the best right backs we've seen in the history of Arsenal. From Lee Dixon to Lauren, etc, etc. I could keep going on, but now we've got to put up with this. I don't know whether it's confidence, I don't know whether it's because of his ACL injury, but it's not what we want. Kieran Tini run himself into the ground, looked absolutely shattered, and do you know what? Moving forward, it will probably be a good thing that he got 90 minutes under his belt. But in the second half, Man City literally snuffed out the threat of Kieran Tierney, which we started to evolve in the last 15 minutes of the first half. And we had nothing. Zero. Zilch. No threat. No thrust. No urgency. No nothing. The best way of summing up that game, it felt like we were happy losing 1-0 than risk going for a goal and losing 2-0. That's the way it felt. This game felt like an inconvenience to a lot of those players out there because the mind's on Thursday. And that also goes with some of the fan base because there's been fans that have been talking before this game saying, oh, it's only Man City, will get battered anyway. Play the reserves, don't play him, don't play, you know, that player. That's one of the mentalities that the club's got. And it stems with the players because on the pitch, they didn't look like they wanted it. They didn't look like they had any urgency. I'm not looking at it and going, well, we've done okay after that first 15 minutes to stem the tide and we can be proud of digging in and everything else. If I wanted to dig in, I would go and be a workman. 
I would go and start, like, do paving and whatever. Do you know what I mean? No, I want my players to dig in. I want my players to actually fight and show a bit of passion and a bit of drive and a bit of knowledge and game management. But it was none of that. It just felt like, go through the motions. Yeah, it's all right. It's only 1-0. It's Man City. Unbelievable team Man City are. So we walk away from here with only one goal conceded. It's been a brilliant game. Wonderful. Amazing. Yeah. Seriously. We had no threat. No thrust. No urgency. Nothing. You look at the statistics. Manchester City had 55% possession. They had 15 shots on goal compared to our seven. They had three on target. We had one on target. Their passing was over 88%. Ours was 84 We had one corner all game. We made 37% of our tackles. Just absolutely baffling. Honestly, I look at that performance and I just sit there and think, really? There just was nothing about it. Like I said, it honestly felt like the players were already you know in Greece on Thursday that's where their mind was don't get injured don't risk anything don't do nothing stupid don't want to go over there with you know a battering behind us or whatever one nil we can take that Man City are going to win the league anyway there's no shame in losing one nil to them blah 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 that's what it feels like honest to god that performance that's what it felt like I was watching that and just thinking, what is this? This is just an absolute shower of shite. Because it was. And I can't say no more than that, to be honest with you. We're where we are in the league for a reason. And half of it's because of these kind of performances. The thing is as well, Mikel has to take blame for some of the things that go out there today. I don't believe he sends them out to say, all right, don't attack, don't do this, don't do that, be reserved or whatever. Players also need to actually be accountable and take responsibility. And they need to be able to step up and game manage. But there was nobody that took the team and game managed it and said, you know what, Man City have dropped off, especially in the second half. They're happy to just let us attack because they feel we're so weak that they're not going to be troubled. They were just like, yeah, go on then, come and attack us then. You know what, don't worry about the strikers having an off day. We'll just sit and soak all this up. This light ain't good enough to break through us anyway, man. Don't worry about it. And that's what it felt like. No urgency, no nothing. And I can't say no more than that. I'm absolutely pissed off with that performance because it was pathetic. So there we go. That is my reaction to the game. As usual, let me know in the comments section what you think. What was your thoughts on that game? Do you feel that it was as pathetic as I'm making out? Or are you actually one of the ones that thinks, ah, oh, let's be proud of that. It was only 1-0. Not for me, mate. Not for me. Um, and I don't know what this is going to do to us moving forward with Thursday night's game. Because that one, I better not be in this kind of mood Thursday evening. That's for sure. Um, but we'll find out. So if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video. And I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.